we're one minute early. You can deal with it. Needed to fix something, and I have to do it from here. Okie doke, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Backbone. Last time, we were detectiving so good, and then aliens. It's not picked up the mouse cursor anymore either. And uh, if you don't recall, Artifact is the alien that's living in, in our shoulders. We talk to it. We have uh, existential conversations. And I think we probably have seen this little bit before, but it's hard to know sometimes where the saves are going to load us. So. Oh, we're about we're about where we left off. It looks like we have the twin from Basket Case on our back. Anybody see that movie? No? Lucky you. <laughs> Yay, now we have a wet bandage. Basket Case was a terrible movie. And I don't get why they made, like, four of them, the Basket Case movies. This has nothing to do with what we're doing in the game right now, but... This is a bad movie. I think it was really cheap to make. What should we do? Should we wrap it around our face or stuff it into the vent? Or should we ask the thing living on our shoulder? Vote for vent. And time's up. Into this. This is a huge bandage. It was going to be too small for that. I wanted the fish boat to try and pick the lock. So we've been fished in the jailhouse tonight. Thank you. 
run or be sneaky. Ooh, there we go. Test patient far higher, broader pain tolerance, massive spike in aggression hormones. Sounds like me. Do actively be on breaking down certain neural pathways. Their sympathetic nervous systems. It's not very nice. Autopsies aren't fun. <clears throat> Psychosomatic impact on artifact. In response, kind of viruses. City has immunosuppressant. Figured we'd finish today, but I didn't think it would be in the first half hour. She does not sneak. This game is just full of unexpectednesses. Chrono Cross.
We did a good job, I guess. I don't know. Okay. We're just gonna get play with everybody. Except Dan and Spoli. Poor guy. Ooh, hibiscus tea. Yes, please. That's a big mug. Given the scale of things, that is a big mug. kind of bright.
I'm assuming we have made it outside the wall. The contrast in my monitors is different enough that in the OBS window I can see more of what's in the background than I can the game window. Makes me wonder what you guys are seeing. Yeah, I would say this is outside. Achievement unlocked. Act five. There we go. The valley was a troop of brown gathering, putting value on me. Living in peace with the enemy. The next war is already over and will never appear. No Ray, we did it. Keep getting older, but stay sober. Vigilant will keep getting sober. All the nasty irritant is ready to go. So that was unexpected. Makes me wonder, you know, had other decisions been made, how much of the ending would have been different? good i liked it i liked it a lot i don't know that i in this instance want to go back and do you know a whole other run through just to change because i'm not going to remember there's a lot of options No alternative endings, any event branches along the way, it is what it is. Okay. I seem to recall when I was looking the game up that it said it was very linear, which is one of the things that attracted me to it for the stream. So there wouldn't be any like, oh, we should have done this, or, you know. Like when we did Chicken Police and there was that stuff I could have gone back for, which I still haven't done. I'm a little bummed that we didn't get more um, more with the apes, you know? I feel like that that's something that could have been pushed a little farther, I guess. I do think there is a prequel to this available. Maybe we'll look into getting that and stream it sometime. I'd be I'd be very interested in doing that. Yeah, I don't want to skip. Uh, hopefully there will be a sequel, if there is a prequel. I'd like to figure out where all this was going. You know what I mean? 
did enjoy it though. Graphics good, characters are good, story was good, music was very good. It's a good game. What are we gonna do for the next hour and a half? I have something we could start. Iggy Koopa. Wow. I didn't know he had a PayPal. Um, here's, here's where I'm at right now and what we do next. I've got a handful of games that I think would be fun to do about this ish length, you know, three, four or five streams, maybe. Um, games I, I purposely like went and tracked down and, and got a hold of so we could do streams of them because I think they'd be, you know, they'd be good stream games. Like, I feel like this was a really good stream game. Um, however, not too terribly long ago, I something popped into my head about Chrono Trigger. And so I went was doing like a, a, a I don't know, a, a deep dive on the universe of Chrono Trigger slash Chrono Cross. And it really made me want to play Chrono Trigger on Chrono Cross again. I've already got a Let's Play of Chrono Trigger. But when I do my Let's Play of Chrono Cross, I kind of want to have a Chrono Trigger... Either I'm going to say don't watch Chrono Cross until you've watched all of Chrono Trigger. Uh, just because. Oh, man. When you start going like, what does this mean? And what does this mean? And what does how did this tie into the thing with the thing? It gets very convoluted. Very like you need a yarn wall kind of thing. And even then that doesn't always work because Chrono Trigger was all like time travel. But Chrono Cross is different dimensions. And one dimension happened in this timeline from a thing, and then the other dimension split here, which was after this other thing happened instead. And it's just bizarre. It's very good. It's just weird. But the other reason I don't necessarily want to do Chrono Cross for the um, streams is it is an RPG. There's a lot of battles. That eats up a lot of time, and Chrono Cross battles are not fast. They take some time. So I don't think I'll stream that now that I've gone through all of that. I don't think I'll stream it. Oh, yeah, no. When I first played Cross, I thought, wow, this is really good. What the hell did it have to do with Trigger? And then I played it again, like New Game Plus did. It. I'm like, okay, I got it now. This makes a hell of a lot more sense. And then I went back and replayed Trigger, and I've played Cross again since then. So I've played Cross like four times, and I've played Trigger three dozen times. And it makes more sense to me now. It's just, you know, the timeline kind of depends on whether or not the events in Chrono Trigger happened, but they didn't happen because cross takes place before they happened but because you go forward and back in time and trigger and you influence different things it changes what happens in cross it's bizarre so i really want to do chrono cross i might the poll we put up the other day i think snes rpg won so i know what i'm going to do for that then I think we'll do Cross after that. So it's going to be end of the year by the time Chrono Cross starts going up. So maybe before the Chrono Cross Let's Play starts, we'll stream Chrono Trigger. Because Chrono Trigger is not terribly long. And I can I can blaze through that game like it ain't nobody's business. So anyway. All right, for Backbone. This is a good game. That's a good game.
All right, so let's, I wish I could change. Can I change that? 